So in this video, what we're going to be doing is taking a look and we're going to be converting from fractions to decimals. It says rounded four decimal places. Um, so here's what we're going to do with this first one. To convert this from a fraction to a decimal, what we want to know is that when you take a look at that right there, that symbol, it is a fraction bar, but it does actually correspond to the division operation. And we don't use that symbol a lot, so we kind of tend to use the fractions. So why don't you go ahead and get your calculator out, and let's actually do 6 divided by 5. When I do 6 divided by 5 in the calculator, what I get is 1.2. Well, this, group, this brings up actually a good point with this problem. Take a look at the instructions. You see it says rounded four decimal places. Well, there's not four decimal places to round to, right? 1.2 is going to be our answer. So that's it, okay? Don't, there's no need to add zeros at the end or do anything like that. If it says round four decimal places, maybe another time you might get 10 or 12 decimal places. But in this case, we're just going to leave this at 1.2. Now, to be able to turn from a fraction to, from a decimal to a fraction, we're going to do this once by hand, and then I'm going to actually write out the steps of how to do this using your graphing calculator. Um, I'm going to go, when we think back to that previous video, when you looked at this place right here, that two, sorry, that second two right there, what is that place? Remember, the first one is called the tenths, the second one is called the hundredths, and so this decimal is in the hundredths place. Since that's the case, we take that number and we put it over 100. If you do this in the calculator, if you do 22 divided by 100, you're going to see you get the exact same thing. Now, this is not a simplified fraction. To get a simplified fraction, the easiest way to do it by hand is just take a look at the top and the bottom and say, hey, does something divide evenly into 22 and 100? Well, those are both even numbers, right? So we know we can divide the top and the bottom by 2. Um, 22 divided by 2 is going to give us 11, right? 100 divided by 2 is going to give us 50. And that's it. We can't reduce this anymore, so the final answer for this is going to be 11 over 50. Now, to be able to do this in a TI graphing calculator, um, I you can see right here I put the instructions. It's, it's even easier in a graphing calculator. All you do is you're going to type 0.22 into the graphing calculator, and then you're going to hit math, enter, enter. And you will be able to see if you click on this link up here, I'm going to actually put a link to another video where if you're not sure how to do this in the graphing calculator, go ahead and click that link and try that. So from here, what we're going to actually do is we're going to start working with percents. So let's scroll down. I don't know why this is coming with me. Let me get rid of that. Okay. So we need to convert a decimal or fraction to a percent. It is always much, much easier to turn a decimal to a percent because all we're going to do is there's two ways to do this. You can either multiply by 100 or what we're going to do in this case is we're going to actually just move that decimal place over two places. That's the same thing. So you see we got that decimal place there. We're going to move it over to here. Where's that decimal place now? It's going to be 65. Again, we don't put the zero in front. Point four three six. Now I'm going to zoom out here a little bit and I want to take a look. Um, remember what this problem says. It says that we need to round two decimal places. Take a look at our percent there. We should have a percent symbol here because we converted it. Two decimal places, that's right here. Is the number to the right of it five or higher? It sure is. So when we do round this, um, what we're going to do is we're going to make that three into a four, because again, this number is five or higher. So it's going to be 65.44 is going to be our final answer for that one. Now moving down to this next one, to convert three-eighths into a percent, I think that the best way is just to go ahead and do three divided by eight in your calculator. So when I do three divided by eight in the calculator, I get zero point three seven five now that's just now this is the decimal right so if it's a fraction the first thing you need to do is divide it out 
And then we're going to do exactly what we did in the previous problem. We're going to move that decimal place over two places so that it's right here. And what we have is 37.5%. I'm going to go back up to this last one. Make sure you put the percent symbols when we're representing a percent. So 3 eighths written as a percent would be 37.5%. This only has one decimal place. It says round two decimal places up here, so you can tell we're good to go. So this is just a quick look at converting between fractions, decimals, and percents. We're going to be using this a lot in this class as well as in stats. So um, again, we're going to get some more practice to this in class.